Okay, sorry. I don't think it's the mode to be carried. And I stretched. Hmm? I had a stretch, yeah, and I have a headache, so I wanted to take something for it. <laughs> Ugh. Thank you for gifting a sub, Sply. Peanut Butter Gaming. Thank you. Oh my I hope you are doing well. I'm surprised you're still up. No! Oh, Jesus. Volume. That scared me. No. Supply popped back in. Uh, near one of ours. It's probably yours, but either way, it's still... I'm surprised it's up. Thank you for the redemptions. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the Dark Souls. Dead. I have to get up now and get a water.
I don't know why you disconnected on me, Mike. Thanks. Crab cakes. I don't know, I just felt like saying crab cakes. Some words, some words I like the sounding of. I don't know why. No, they don't, but I like the word, I like saying crab cakes, though. Just like I like to say, I, just like I like saying I have crabs. Depends on what kind of crabs. Yes, it is bad to have crabs. At least in the context of I have crabs. But I do like saying I have crabs. I like to just I like to just randomly say I have crabs. I'm weird, I will spout just random nonsense. Yes, or like shitting on a stick, or yeah, a pumping. I have some weird quotes that come out of me too. Yeah. Glad I was able to recover a lot of them. Yes. Yeah, that. Just run. What did I miss? What happened? Why were the cops needed to be involved? What happened? Oh, left it! Oh, oh, I was like, okay, there's a motorcycle in front. I was like, why is that a problem? Oh, he left a motorcycle. Okay. Yeah. Why would you need two cars? Oh, I thought you said buy two cars. One to drive and one for gas. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? what I thought I heard. But no. Cars are not bad. I mean, yeah, they are. My car is not, like, the most expensive. Fact, it's almost paid off. I've been paying about 230 a month. That's extra. But mine's... Mine is what? 15,000? Something like that. I get about 500... 500 to a tank. 500 miles to a tank. That's what I can drive. Um, a full tank of gas, or at least a half tank of gas is about $50. Not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, it's expensive, yes, but it's not that bad. Because I don't buy, I don't drive a lot, so I don't waste gas like some people do. I drive every day, you know, it's a 40 minute drive that's 20 there, 20 back, but I'm not. So I'm not wasting that much gas. Yes, I'm using up a lot of gas, not, or a lot more gas than I ever was, because back at Sears, Sears was like two minutes away from my house. But now I'm driving like 20 minutes away, and I've been doing that for a bit. So yeah, that's a bit more gas, but it's, I don't, I still don't pay for gas like every week or every other two weeks, like some people may. Well, well, hey, you're saving money and you also live alone. What can you do? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that once I'm on my own. And I make. And I make, like, 20 an hour, so I... 
I only make twenty dollars an hour, not even though. Nineteen forty eight. Good money. That's not bad. It's not great, but not great, but you're young still. You're younger than I am. So you have a bit more time. Ah, that sucks. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's hard for me to get into because I don't really know how to talk to people, nor do I really know how to write a very good resume. But also, like, I I prefer to use, like, a job agency that I've been using. My parents have helped me with that considerably, and they're gonna have to, like, somewhat help me in the future. Yes, I've been sheltered heavily. Heavily sheltered. Also, it doesn't help that I'm a shut. I don't really have, like, that much knowledge, and that's why, like, real-world knowledge, that's why I say I lack intelligence, too, is it's a lot of that. I don't have that. I have some street smart, but not that. I'm definitely not. I definitely don't really have much street smart. So I lost it. I honestly don't know if I can pass a lot of the classes I once did, but jobs suck. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a moment. You're my first gifter in a long while, actually. I mean, I've been getting subs, but I don't think I've been given a gifted sub in a bit. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I mean, I got a sub, I got several subs earlier. I got a couple subs earlier. Thanks to that. Oh, I know. Yeah, it was my, it was, as a, it was my transition, dude. It was literally my transition from YouTube to Twitch with Kingdom Hearts 2. You caught me at the end, if I recall, but this was right at the start, dude. You caught me at the start, so yes. Something like that. Probably sounds about right. But yeah, you basically caught me at the start of, like, my early days on Twitch. Ah, yes. He he did my... He did some of it. Didn't really code and make it. But he helped set up my Discord, my bot, and... I see his name around, but I don't see him here ever really anymore. But I see him around on Discord sometimes. I don't... I wonder how he's doing. Ah, uh, me and him. Well, Zero is busy. Oh, I mean, not saying Blackfire isn't. I know, I'm sure Blackfire is very busy, but Zero is a daddy and a, and a husband and a worker. So he is very busy. Dude! He is a mommy. I mean, technically, he isn't... Well, technically, he can be a mommy, too. His... <laughs> he can... There can be two mommies. Even if one's a male. You know, I mean, I don't know. What's, whatever floats top of Wants to be a mom again. So a girl that got long hair and flashes herself. <laughs> there are girls like that. Yep. Yeah, there are. Definitely are. Yeah, I remember back in our high school days, 
in the earth science class I had it was Mr. Bird. I remember she said that she was the one got a little trick and she flashed a whole bunch of people and she got her disappeared. Hi. And I see, because that's one of my favorite piercings, along with the belly piercing and tongue piercing. Nips! <laughs> Hi, Supply. I'm good, how are you doing? I hope your fan I hope your weekend is good. I hope your Friday was better than mine. A lot of work stress. I was late to work, and I tried to make a tighter turn than I could, and I fucked up part of my bumper. All I heard, all I heard was car, er, bonk, and then the wheels hitting the ground. I was like, I hope that didn't fuck up anything underneath my car. But my bumper has already got a crack in it, so that probably made. And it's like you—if you looked at the bottom of the bumper, it's all scraped up. That's even worse now, probably. I haven't looked. I don't. Part of me cares and doesn't. Side of a car. I I flew off of a car. And if I was hit hard, I would have been more injured. Not that I really was. I just took a couple days off of school, but they checked me. Hope so. Yeah. Fuck you. I seen a chick get out of a car and I think she went to go scream at a bus that was dropping off or picking up kids, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? Just as the bus is ready to pull back the stop sign, you get out to, to do something? Literally, she looked stupid, because she walked out the car, it looked like she was going to go yell at the driver, and then got back in the car because the driver was about to take off. It's the funniest thing I saw. Uh, I was like, what? For the motorcycle. Yeah. License and registration, yeah. You know? Well, license at least. I don't know about registration. They can look that up. Oh, yeah, well, he dowry hairs, but they at least have his prints. I mean, someone's? I don't know. I don't know if how good their machine is or if they can detect the latest prints someone left behind. Or if he even wiped them off, I don't know. Or if he's wearing gloves. But either way, they probably have him. Yeah, there was a murderer. There was a murderer on the loose in PA, very close to me, in fact. Someone who fled from a different country all the way to the U.S. by like from murdering his girlfriend. He stabbed his girlfriend like 50 times, fled, and then he came down here. 
I'm not good. Oh. The guy that I just met you got caught. Thank God. You're deranged, man. People are deranged. I mean, it, it can, yes. As all drugs, it has its harmful effects. It can lead you into harder things, but it doesn't... That that I'm never going to let that happen to me, says the guy who's done things. I've done my fair share of partying. I will not let weed mix me into coke again or anything worse. But yeah, no, like... But yet they're trying to make weed worse than it is. Like, they're labeling it up tier with some of these harsher drugs. And it's just like... Weed has a lot of beneficial, as is, does most medicine that's legal. In fact, weed is better than a lot of these pills that we take. Uh-oh, Irving passed out. All right, Irp, Irving, are you okay yep. over there? Yeah, I, I don't know if you were starting to pass out. I just heard you snore for a second. Oh, I'm wide awake. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure if you're going to head off to bed that you do. I just didn't want you to pass out on us. Nah. All right, I just heard a I know you though. I know you 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 like to pass up play games off <laughs> And not that I'm not doing that because I remember that could have played very well cause it's, You'd pretty much be up every night whenever you'd stay the night The boogeyman has come for my soul fuck But yeah, you'd, you'd be up all, all like almost every day and you Surprised you, and I'm surprised like you stayed late that next day. You don't just fall asleep the whole day. I just, I just don't know how you do it. Man. That was back in the day. Can't do that shit anymore. I mean, I can't either. But I don't. I I've never had that much energy. I know me and you are not the most energetic. You are more than me, but we've never had like the most energy. I, I don't get it, how sometimes me and you can do it. Because I've stayed up ample times with you. Like that night where we all partied with our exes? Like, <laughs> that was great. I, I We stayed up until Shauna was ready to pass out drunk. And I took her right upstairs and took care of her and just let her sleep and passed out right next to her. Jason, Jason tried to get yeah he kept for he kept like begging me to smoke and just pissed off to the point where Shauna let me I was like ha ah. no yeah he was adding he was adding to like unnecessary like drug addict sh like needs I was like dude I'm not a drug addict but you're making me fiend for the shits yeah that's how you that's how I know that Jason was a good a friend but not a great friend he's not a best friend. Some of you guys on Twitch are better than some of the friends I grew up with. Because, one, that same kid, Jason, is the one that almost wanted to end a friendship because he found out I had a crush on him. At one point. Don't know how... 
But yeah, no. I was realizing feelings that I didn't understand, and he almost ended the friendship over. It. And then, like, he eventually passed away, and then uh, he actually eventually passed away off heroin use. I've lost several friends to drugs. And to be fair, like, it hurt, but I didn't cry. When it happened, it kind of came as a shock. I was more shocked. I was like, but I didn't cry. It was just like, oh. Well, fuck. That's another friend gone. And his brother, too. Die first, Jason or his brother? Danny did. His brother. Because I remember Jason making a post online about the people he was buying drugs from or something. I think I also remembered him driving me and hanging out with... Greg's friend Kyle one time, and that's when Kyle mentioned he was on some shit when I never noticed. But then again, I'm not doing that. But yeah, no, he, his brother passed away first. Which is fucking crazy. I don't know, man. I think they must have had some really bad cut. Did they both over D? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I lost at least, I think, three people, four people to life. Sometimes what happens in life is kind of fucked up, because, like, with the ex thing out, mm -hmm. she has uh, a, well, her gay best friend, a dude named Miguel. He lives, like, a block over from me. Pretty much the same block as you do, but he's on the block where Miguel used to live. The other one, the other one. And pretty much like where his house is across the street, pretty much on the same block as where Katie used to live. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, not a, not a bad kid. He's a little bit of a boy. But uh, fucking uh, his younger brother uh, passed away last uh, last year. And that was kind of surprising. Cause the guy was pretty much young and healthy, but I know he was too young. Watch out for Fuck that bitch. Fuck that franchise. Is it that security of some of the people I know from like the college more recently? Like there was this one girl who wasn't bad looking. I can't remember her name, but uh she was kinda like a skater girl, kinda like uh old school punk. But yeah. but like younger than us, around being the same me because Danielle yeah, was like a year different between us and her. But yeah. hot, not a not a bad pair of tits, not a bad pair of hats, but unfortunately and like one of my friends on Facebook told the attorney he got arrested in Chicago. He took on four cops. And I was like, holy shit. Wow. And I find it kind of odd because I noticed on her Instagram she's a post a bunch of, you know, those like uh, hot girl shape photos where you do a party and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed it on her Instagram, she deleted all those photos recently, so I'm still being just running out of video. John Wick is coming to you. Okay, there's a blood. Yeah. I sometimes don't know myself. Sometimes I wonder. Oh, how did I miss? Sometimes I wonder.
squish. A squish. A punch. A squish. A bonk. Yes, that is. What is that? Is it a uh, it's bit no. It's a basically a phone game, but translated to console. It's one oh, of those. Uh, it, it, it's but it's one of those. It is kind of like a beat 'em up. It is a beat 'em up. Is it like Genshin Impact? Kind no, not really. Oh. No, it, it's a beat 'em up, but it has gotcha. Like you can get characters and shit. Okay. But it is a beat 'em up, meaning you move. Kind of like Iki Towson or, you know, whatever video oh, games oh, we play. Yeah, it, it played like that. You move on a map and you just fight a bunch of characters. Okay. Oh, can you get up naked like in Iki Towson? I don't think so. They definitely don't have that. They definitely don't have that, like, you blow off their clothes, but no. But. Almost an awesome feature in Iki Towson. That's Iki Towson, though. Eeky Towson has got unnecessary fan service, fan service, but hey, it's fan service nonetheless. I'll take it, even if they're, even if the characters are probably, you see, I don't know, sure. they're not like that. I think in high school, <laughs> they're still cute girls. It's just kind of weird saying now, because back when I was watching it, watching it, we were in, we were near that age, so it's fine. But now, now, it, now, not, not. I know, but it's still like saying it, saying, "Oh yeah, I want a fucking eighteen or a girl in high school," even if it's fake, just feels weird to say they're hot. Don't get me wrong, like Hakafu, her the main chick, the dumb chick, she is. I do like. Yes, her. My favorite is still the chick with the eye patch, but. Oh god, yes. Even though the anime falls to hell. Oh, I hate. The second season is great. I love the second season. The third and fourth, though? I haven't seen the third or fourth. I mean, uh, that's, that's me coming from reading the manga first and seeing that the anime is nothing like it, but also it's just bad. Compared to the first two seasons, it, yes, it doesn't follow the manga much past that. But it also is just bad. It's like Full Metal Alchemist level of bad. Like the first two arcs follow the manga. The third and fourth don't. The manga is Battle Vixens? That's what it's actually called. Very good manga. Very brutal. Dude, there's a scene where Hakafu rips out a dude's innards. His intestines. Like, whoa! Like, holy hell! That is brutal! In her dragon form. Like, oh my fucking god. Like, what it comes to, like, what it comes to, like, Netflix, I was watching, uh, Baki Hama. Ah. Uh, I would love to, like, try to find a way to read it, but try to find the bottom. Yeah. And I trying to find the older anime, like the, what they have on the Netflix. It pretty much continues off the original series. It's not like the restart. Mm -hmm. it, it pretty much continues off, and like I would love to see like, at least like the first. I, mean, I don't know how many seasons it is before Netflix took the whole thing and started doing it. Yeah. But apparently, it's like the whole thing for like Baki, little turn and then went and, and like tried to fight his father. Hmm. Now we'll see how the manga is, because like right now in the, um, what they have on Netflix, the, the newest one that just dropped last month. Apparently they find a, a frozen caveman in a few red, and somehow the caveman is still alive, and you know, and everybody's trying to fight it, because it's strong as the few red is, and stronger. And there's a scene in the very beginning where they bring that caveman to Japan 
any spots of course race truck spot. Damn. Uh from global exit up across the white people are here, but it comes to turn it. But I wonder if there's more to it or not, I know like over here. We censor the whole scene in the beginning of Goblin Slayer, where the goblins rape the girls from the first episode. I had a watch I had a I had to watch the uh, original episode of Pornhub. Man, I, yeah, I hate that shit. And the only thing I ever get though is like, you know, I know Raven's bad scene, but like, the great ratio and the, and the episode of Goblin Slayer, they're not that bad. They're pretty PG compared to what like, they'll show like an actual, like, anime. Or, or in movies. Yeah. Like, dude, The Walking Dead manga. I know it's the manga, but the manga almost had a freaking rape, straight up rape scene that was more brutal than that. Yeah. Freaking Carl was held down by three dudes and almost was raped straight up, and Rick murdered them all. Like, I know that's the comic though, but still, I don't remember if that was in the show at all by any means. I'm sure there maybe not, but I I don't recall. There, there was a little nod to it, where, uh... Because you know how, like, Daryl is not in the, uh, in the comic, he's in the TV show? Yeah. Pretty much, like, after the whole prison thing, where the, like, Negan... No, not Negan, uh, the mayor? Mm hmm Uh, pretty much, like, fucks up the prison, and they all, like, scatter after the whole prison, like, final fight against the mayor. Uh, yeah. Daryl meets up with these bikers, and have, like, it's, like, basic simple rules. Same what is yours and shit. And apparently that same group in the uh, in the TV show, they uh, pretty much conquer uh, Rick and his kid earlier on in one of the uh, neighborhoods where they were like uh, scouting around trying to find fight some shit. Yeah. And uh, Rick kills one of the guys in the house they were hiding in. And once they find out, once they bump back into Rick with their owner's group, uh, freaking, they beat up Daryl Hoden in place. He doesn't trust him to, uh, not help out Rick when trying to do something wrong just for uh, Rick killing one of the guys. And the leader almost somewhat tries to rape, uh, Carl in the TV show, but then, you know, uh, in the TV show, Rick gets in the way, bites him, and then kills him with his uh, bare hand. Uh, I do remember some of that. I didn't like, see yeah. a little bit. He bites his throat, and then I think he chokes him to death. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen parts of that. Yeah, because I have watched you know, Past the Governor. Because there are some brutal scenes in the comics they don't show in the. In oh the yeah. Animation. And I mean, this is still American though, too. So some people can digest some sort of shit. I just, I get it. It's TV. It's easier to digest, or it's easier to be seen by kids. Yeah. That's so what ratings are. About yeah. Like they're more hard than like from uh, overseas Makes sense because usually they're more graphic. Yes, I don't know. At least, at least an ant you'll return. All right, but at least in anime's case, it's usually more graphic. But like, at times, doesn't quite make quite the point like sense to certain like when it comes to like war and violence. I remember when it came to Resident Evil 2 remake, over here in America, when you play the game, it's fully uncensored. Mm -hmm. You know how like graphic could be special like that one scene and uh Yeah, no, not Resident Evil 2, but Resident Evil 7. Uh where uh where, like that one part where we're like we pulled out the ship from the top side and shit was pretty dead. Yeah. They had to censor that shit and the exact Interesting. That's interesting. Cause like I, I while yeah, there's a there is sex scenes and shit. Well, yeah, it's usually just implied, and you see the, you hear it, or you may see like people doing it, but you don't see anything body part wise. I mean that, that you see that a lot in campy horror movies. I just don't get why everyone's so sensitive. Even if they have to show legitimate sex, or I get rape is a bad thing, but it's in media. Sex is in media. 
And plus, I've yeah. seen rape scenes in movies. Because um, I was going to say, it's kind of simple. I, a while back, I saw a special to the library of the, uh, the making of the uh, Friday the 13th series. Yeah. And it was like a whole DVD about just like, just like all the movies and like, but the people, like the ones who were in charge of doing the ratings and movies, like years back in the day, mm -hmm. they were so anal about the uh, the killing and the way the kids were so in the early movies. Which doesn't make sense, don't point out, like, they made such a big deal about the people who killed somebody, even though it was really easy, like, you know, fake body parts and fake blood. But they were completely okay when we got to have a young ass girl fully naked. Fucking, naked. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Or yes. Even doing drugs. No issue with that. It was just yes. Like oh yeah. Cigarette smoking, weed. You see boobs. You don't get anything else. Do you see boobs in upper chest? Yes. You do see some shit. And these are rated R films, but kids watch them. Yeah, and in some of them, uh, I think they even they to show a little bit of blood. I was about it. Oh, yeah, they do show blood. I mean, of course, but yeah. But yes. No, and there's moaning too with the sex. It's not just. It's usually quick and campier, but they're still there. And yeah, I just don't—I don't get it either. I totally understand they need to block it, and there's gonna be some that gets blocked out, but there's a lot of. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, uh, Brett, uh, have you ever, have you ever seen like Jason kill from like? Oh yeah. Have you ever seen one where Jason uh, kills somebody from inside a camp? Yes. That they had such a big issue with that scene because originally what it was when he was slapping the uh the against the tree, like the uh tech, there'll be blood coming out from the uh tent as he's sitting up against the tree. And the people uh flipped out that were uh giving the movies the rating. So in order to keep them happy and everyone keeps the scene, they got rid of the blood. Huh. What's up? You got a new monitor? Manga. Oh, manga. What? Kamiga Kill. Kamiga Kill? I've not seen that. I've heard about it. I have a shirt of it. Last thing I read was super, but beside that was, I don't even remember uh, the rest of Naruto. Last one I read was Tokyo Gori, chapter 1.5. Uh, I haven't really watched it. But I've read my volumes. I've read all of my manga. Naruto, Inuyasha, Dragon Ball, Yo Yo Hakusho, Trigun, Cowboy Bebop. Not the ones I got from Loot Crate, because those are like one or two volumes, but I don't have the complete series. But every volume that I grew up with from like Funimation or Toonami and Adult Swim stuff, yeah, I've read all that. There's still more that I want to collect. I want to get the Battle Vixens manga, and I want to get Kenichi, the History of Strongest Disciple manga. I want to get whatever else there is. I want to get, I have the Trigun manga, it's a very good manga. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, or Full Metal Alchemist manga. Kenichi was such a good anime to watch. It's a good manga too. I mean, it's very faithful, the anime that is. It's very faithful, and it's still short. 
Like it ends where it it's where the show does. It doesn't continue or anything and so far I noticed. But it's very good. I enjoy the goofy hilarity shit that goes on in that manga. It's very detailed artwork. Good god man. That guy knows how to draw. Yeah, Apachai, one of the best characters. The, the katana girl, yeah. I remember, like, it's like in the final, uh, pretty much like in the final two episodes, where, like, Kenichi is fighting that one rival guy. What, what, Big Ten? Yeah. Style, particular personality. And you love how, like, when he's going her, she's like, oh, it's me! <laughs> I yes, I love her. <laughs> I love her. And I also love the perverted grandpa. I love all of them. All of them. And Miyu, the blonde girl that he likes. I love all of them. They're great characters. What? Well, what are you including the entire for the Iran card? Are you including the entirety of it, like the start all the way to Aizen's finish? The latter half of the Iran, the latter half of the Iran car arc beats the Soul Society arc. The Soul Society arc is one of the better, best arcs of the show that has a great follow and full pull through. Like it throws you through a loop. You think you know Biaki is bad? Nah, no, no, no. You know that whole thing, and then it gives you the real villain Aizen. Like I loved that. But then the f whole like fight with the Iran car. The actual full battle with the war, and then Ichigo tackling them others from the within. Like Ichigo's battle with uh, what's his name, Ukiyota, and then the whole thing, the Aizen battle was fantastic. The latter half of that uh, Aran car arc is better than probably my favorite arc. My biggest gripe is he is a big fan of Yu Yu Hakusho, and it shows because he literally copied that show. Not saying that that's a horrendous thing. But if you pay attention to w the way his Aizen's team is and the way Sensui's team is, also, Aizen is a previous, or I'm um, not Aizen, but uh, Ginjo, there's two things. It's Aizen and Ginjo. Ginjo is the previous spirit detector, or previous soul, substitute soul reaper. You got Shinobu Sensui from Yu Hakusho is the previous spirit detective. Need I say more? Not only that, Ginjo had how many people on his team? That all had unique abilities from stealing people's or adding implanting memories, whatever, with time. One of them's a game master. Well, Shinobu, since we had characters on his team that all had unique powers, and one of them was a game master. Need I say more? Not only that, where does Aizen's battle take place? It takes place in two realms. It takes place in the in in Hueco Mundo or in yeah Hueco Mundo, and then it, and then it moves to the Soul Society. Yu Yu shows is reverse. It starts in the human world and moves to the demon world. You get what I'm saying with this? Straight copy. Word for word. Hate it. Most filler and bleach action sucks. <laughs> As long as it's not the fucking war, the the second tuning exam filler from the war. That's yeah. probably the worst filler arc. Naruto's got six entire seasons. The like first half of Naruto. Yeah, that one. Naruto has the first half of Naruto literally has six full seasons of filler. Including that episode. Shippuden is even longer, and I don't even own it all. Like, the manga is... bit is long, but god, they've added so damn much to Naruto. Nice. 
<laughs> I mean, I watched all of Naruto, all 16 episodes of Naruto, and then most of Shippuden. I almost watched all of Shippuden, but then I got bored midway through its filler. I finished the series, but I didn't watch the fillers, or most thereof. But... I haven't read... I've read a bit of the Blood War, not all of it. Well, I figured it was going to be a Kin Quincy, I know that. I forget his hatred towards the soul. Oh, well, I... He... Uh, they all... Austra they all ostracized the Quincy. That's right, that's right. They hate them because they were pushed down upon because they killed the Hollow instead of purifying. Breaking balance, so they shadowed them out. That's why, that's right. I was about to ask, why did they... Oh, I just answered my own question. Yeah. When he's not. He is by... He is, I guess, but not really. I mean, he's a substitute, and his dad as a Soul Reaper was. Still technically is. He just left, kind of like Utahara. But, like, Ichigo's... Like, he realized that Ichigo's more human. He realized Ichigo's actually just human. And he's a good person, so I, like, I don't know. Uryu had good development there. That, I'm glad that he's not a bad guy. He's one of the better characters. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You're right. Yes, that is right. Soul Reaper power. That is correct. You are right. I completely forgot about that little dumb random bullshit. They're just Bleach is just going on for too long. But this last arc seems exciting because I've read considerable about. I I already have witnessed one death. Well, maybe a couple, but one major death. Fucking Captain. Ah, probably, eventually. I just remember I saw the epic fight with Captain versus lead Quincy Man, and he dies. I also think that, um, Aizen's gonna be in the present world. Uh, he's gonna have some play. He's gonna be there. He looks weird in this game. Yeah, he, they wouldn't. Sh Oops, they, I keep fighting the wrong enemy. They wouldn't show him if they're not gonna have him and do anything. He's he's also immortal, somehow thanks to the uh, the Hyokuku. that stupid crystal shit that he that he that 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 him and Udahara made that he shoved inside of Rukia. Yes, that that made him immortal. And yet he somehow still has it, I don't know. Hmm? I can't even shut inside the I don't know. I don't know why you want to shut inside the FBI. <laughs> I don't even know why you chose Riku. Or, uh... Riku? Like, compared to Ryukia, Ryukia is weak. Ryukia is weak in general. Dude, she's... done what? Absolutely nothing besides helping to ha Half of the series, her power is gone, because Ichigo took it. And then she, like, fights the one Iran car, fails, like, he, she beats the Kai and Shiba one, and then fails against the other one. And then that's it. Like, and then she comes back, and then, you know, they all give Ichigo his power against, uh, Kugo. And that's it. She, she... I forgot who she fought during that, but she... Bop. My favorite one, like, I, I don't know, I like the fights 
with, uh, what's his face? Uh, Byakuya and the uh, Father Time dude. I like that fight. He was just like, dude was talking and Byakuya was just like, bitch, cut in half, gone. Love that. I don't remember too much. Yeah, I don't know. His power? Uh, yes, that's what I say, yeah. They all return their power to him. Yeah. And that's when they all join the battle against the against them. I loved it. That and the... um, What's their face? The guys that trained Ichigo to learn his... Hollow abilities. Uh, they, they joined in. I like that they join in too in later fights, and also the people who Ichigo was with, the rest of them, like they helped. I, I loved there was so much. There were so many awesome people there. And then you just got weird, lame backstories, like the chick with the dirty boots, or Father Time, or the kid. It's like, I don't care! You don't have development, and nor are you a good character. You're all... Yeah, the bounce arc. <laughs> arc sucks. I've seen worse than Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball's the worst one, especially with Super. Super has some bad. No, Dragon Ball Z's worse. With I filler. When, it, when, uh, when you got the Dragon Ball season, all mm. our people were laughing in your room. We would spend all night watching it. And then one scene when the ninja got the, uh, the uh, spike up his ass. Yes. It's the best, one of the best Dragon Ball scenes. Ow. One of the best Dragon Ball scenes. Seen is the Naruto shooting exam second arc. I didn't even finish it. At least I finished the. I'm almost done with the pilot. How are you watching it? I get you want to watch everything. You're probably not as avid of a manga follower like me, but come on. <laughs> uh. I mean, that's honestly why I can't watch Full Metal, like, but it's also not good. But it's, it's filler. I can't. If it was actually good, maybe. But it's not, also. Uh-uh. At least I, at least coming from watching that and then watching the Brotherhood and actually having memory of Brotherhood more than I do the original growing up, and then reading the manga, it is hard to watch the original. It is hard to watch the original. Bruh. Hmm? When fucking the Ed and Alice Tinker, when they who are you? I'm a housewife! <laughs> oh god, yes, I love that. Bluh. I'm a house I'm a housewife! Bluh. Just spits blood. Uh, I swear, yeah, 
the end is... I, it's it's nice they give her closure at the end. They she dies. It's, a, it's unfortunate, but yeah. yeah. They give her closure. They give their mom closure. Like I love Full Metal Brotherhood. Like they give they they do so much justice. Like they were able to give their father if they were able to forgive their father and give him closure, give their mother closure. You know, prove that, you know, hey, my, you loved our mother, she loved you, you loved blah blah blah, and that's all he ever wanted to hear. And that was like one of the most touching moments. I love Full Metal Alchemist. There's not very many animes that can really, like, keep me hearing every time I see it. When Alphonse sacrifices his body to bring back Ed and Ed, or Ed's arm and leg. Or whatever he did, and he like flipped out and just went batshit insane on Father. I was like, oh, yes. But yeah, I don't think any filler is going to compare to like Naruto or Dragon Ball. So some of that's some of the absolute worst. What? Full Metal Alchemist 1 is close. It's okay, not a... GT is also pretty bad. Has its moments. Gave us Omega Shenron, who I don't like, but his fight is amazing. Super Saiyan 4 is amazing. Vegeta's in it. That's it. Baby is best villain, but Baby also isn't great. Oh, pot up, pot up! Oh, pot up, pot up. You see the story similar enemy I used to watch back in the day? That I was watching the back in the I think it was called Dooku Dooku Dark Witch Hunt Company Angel. So, oh, like, a God. girl would, would kill a guy with a, like, spiky ass bat and bring him back to life. Yep, that and show. Like, God. I love that show. so dumb. <laughs> but she is adorable. I want her. I want uh, her. She is cute because like, I remember, like, the first time I watched it, like, in the, uh, in the uh, Morning College, the uh, old game room. Because sadly, that game room was gone now. I remember, like, I think it was Z who put it on for us to watch it for the first time. And then once in the first episode where she just stabs to him with the bat, and like it slowly like pans around him, so you can see like the light going through his hole, and it's like the fucking like holy music. I laughed so hard. <laughs> I felt so bad for that guy. Or like if you took away her halo, she got massive diarrhea. Oh, that, yes. That and her weird face that she did. The shrunken face. Yeah. Yeah. Like the sour face where she's trying to focus and it looks like she's a wrinkly. I love that too. Oh my god, that show was hilarious. Yeah, like, now that I'm not I'm able to breathe on the water, I came back to the northwest. And I like, I want to look around somewhere around. What is another fucking lock next monster in the water? I can't fight underwater. Mm. I'm about some of the new machines you introduced to one. There's a hippo machine. A while, uh, like, the other day I killed a giant elephant. Yeah. But I'm just so happy I could finally bring up the water. Merker, Merker back. Merkernary. Hi. Hi. You sound very Did it tired. Taste tired. 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 I'm just tired. Go back to your tits. No. Merker, did, did the uh, the titties drain you of your energy? <laughs> Kinda. Stay with us. Yes. It might be a, one of those nights where I fall asleep in VC. It's fine. Go on, Splat. Alrighty, you have a good night. 
Do you have a good one? It's like, I can just imagine with Mercer, all the blood rushes, other heads, and he's still extremely tired. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably filling drinks with all the blood rushes in one spot. I mean, it technically it is. Should have to act, should actually have to touch me in order to get me to have a boner. I've learned to control it to a certain extent. Either that, or you are too ex too used to something. If a girl needs to actually physically turn you on by touching you, that's interesting. A girl can look half naked and look at me funny, and I'll get horny. And I watch a lot of porn. So do I. Don't we all? I think that's the issue. Yeah, that's why I said it. You're too used to something. However, girls can look at me funny and I'll get horny. That's just how horny I am, though. Like, I'm very fucking... Also sex deprived. Dude, it's been a decade. I can just imagine, like, one girl looks at you and I don't know hearing that old school porn music. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like... I'm, I'm fucking pulling uh, Jason Biggs from... American Pie, and I'm coming, pre-coming in my pants already. It's like, oh. And I don't know where you're gonna have that '80s porn mustache. <laughs> I can't even pull that off if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't like the porn stash. Just looks so creepy. I have to mute you there, bud. Who? No, Mercer, I can tell he's getting. He's starting to doze. I'm just saying, am I gonna have to. Bang? Are you sure? Because I'm hearing breathing from you. Like, sleepy breathing. I don't know who you. I, I don't know that. Also, I heard. I didn't say snoring. I said you were breathing, like. The sleeping breathing, not the normal breathing. Like, I, you must really be close to your mic because I don't hear anyone else breathing into the mic, so that's why I thought you were sleeping. No, um, I guess I forgot my mic was like up on my cheek. That's, that's fine, yeah, that's fine, but you're, yeah, it's really, very, my, I have very sensitive ears, to be fair. <coughs> and your voice and the way your mic, it just hit a certain way it, Sounds it just it, it hits a certain frequency that hurts a little. It's my sensitivity, but definitely considerably louder than Irving is. But you're you're also American, so your voice is much clearer. Yeah. But yeah, you are considerably louder. You're... Every time somebody says that I'm American, I instantly get the America, fuck yeah, song pop in my head. Yeah. The, the moment when I said that, but you're American, thinking the mind is a really big guy. Like, <gasps> cheeseburger, please. I just got a soda. <laughs> Don't drink that diet shit. I'm drinking soda. I'm drinking the actual fucking soda. I'm gonna drink that diet shit. And that is worse. Work. It's worse for you. It's freaking the, uh... I remember, uh, reading a long time ago that Dye Soda has the, uh... The shit that you use to substitute real sugar hooks up with your bones, like, over time. And it acts as you can get Damn. I didn't know about that, but yeah, I know it's worse for you. Yeah. Just like how people tend to drink soda for drink, like drinking it, but don't realize that soda doesn't hydrate you; it dehydrates. Yeah, uh, I, I had a hardcore note that soda is extremely bad for you because, like, we're pretty much where I'm from, Mexico. Like Coca Cola is the main thing people drink. Cause like over there, a lot of the water is first, a lot of the uh, water is dirty. Yeah. And not good to drink. It doesn't help that pretty much Coca-Cola, pretty much whatever there is a clean water source, they own it and they use it to make soda and other stuff. It's like apart from soda, they also make orange juice. The orange juice that the company makes is has a shit ton of sugar. Mm -hmm. It's 
I saw a special a while back of the whole COVID, a lot of people were dying in Mexico. Because a lot of them suffer from diabetes and what is the food they drink. And then, then those getting COVID, it's like, it's like a one shot kill. Damn. That's interesting. I'm glad my parents didn't get COVID. Because they are diabetic. And in there's... For the most part, like, also the medical is a bit more better than Mexico. I'm sure it is, but my parents are also old, too. Never mind. Dude. Still, like, it could have been bad. That's why. Regardless of that fact, I know it's better. My, I still... I'm glad they... With their age and all. And me, specifically. Because I'm glad I didn't get it to give it to them. I was more worried about that than them because they don't go out as that uh, like that much either. I'm the one working. Yeah, but I think me and my mom got it before we knew what Corona was. Because I remember during the beginning of the uh, of the whole quarantine thing, we heard got really sick. Like we couldn't really move and like it was just like it was like, it was like bad. I'm sure I've heard that it was like very bad. A lot of throwing up, body pains, aches, and whatever else. Yeah. It depends too, though. There's a lot of severe, different severity levels of it. So, you... and also some people's bodies are different. You're lucky that you just had that, I guess, or maybe. You know, I mean, there's way worse. That's why I was weary. That's why, like, with my parents, it could have been much worse, because they're older. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure they're in good... I'm sure my parents are in good health, because they do go out and walk the dog and whatever else and stuff like that. They, they're not just always on their ass, but they aren't out running. Go on. I going to say, uh... I have one of the vaccines. I have not got it to you. Out. Yeah. I only have the first one. I, I have mine. Both mine. Ah. I have mine. I wanted to not... I didn't want to fuck around or fuck with anyone. I wanted to be able to get a job or in case people were like vaccine or needed or I'm not saying jobs too, but just in case or if whatever requires vaccination. I wanted to get that done. Plus my parents would not not let me get that done. My own because Rick and my mom, which was while we wanted her girlfriend, she went and got it. Uh so I was stuck doing it on my own, so I had to go to the uh, Kerwin medical thing by City Hall and get, get, it, get, it, get it out of the way. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, all this shit I keep seeing online, but it wasn't, like, too bad. Like, I just had to wait, like, 15 minutes before they let me go. Nah, it's not that big of a deal for healthier people. It was bigger deal with older people. And people who were maybe sick or young, young and sick, or maybe the too young, like infants or young yeah. kids, and adults who are too old that aren't as healthy, or people who have health issues, like you said, diabetes. So that's why, like, even if I would have caught it, I'm sure I would have been fine. That's probably why you were okay. And you pro and you also do exercise, and you used to a lot. So you are at, your body is not exactly horrendous. It's not in the best of shape, sure now, nor is mine. But we at least exercised. So our body's got some muscle mass, some. Eh. I'm just, I just don't take care of myself. I smoke. I used to be pretty healthy. Healthy enough to run. And work out every day. I miss the old days before I started smoking when I worked out though. Mm. I just miss Brady. I thought 
they ever enjoyed the titties? I was looking back at old chats. Get with them. Get back with them. He won't talk to me. Why? I... Break up that bad? It doesn't always have to be horrible either. People just break up and don't talk. But I hate when people break up and dislike each other. Ugh. I get it. Like I only talk to I don't even talk to any of my ex, but I'm only I'm friends with one of them. That's it. But still I don't get why. <laughs> He wants to get over you, I understand that. But why, I don't get why he's doing it. It's kinda like what a bandit did to me, and I didn't even date the girl. All I do is fuck her once. It wasn't even that long of us. I don't know how I was good. I don't I wasn't good doing that, I'll tell you that. I don't know why she loved me. I, there was no time for love to develop. Feelings, maybe, but she said she really liked me a lot. I wouldn't say love, but... Enough to still have feelings for me well after I moved. I was like, are you kidding me? You still have feelings for me? Or have feelings for me? I didn't even know you had feelings for me. She was too much of a mind game player, man. I can't deal with that. And no job. And her have a kid. Uh-uh. I don't mind taking care of a girlfriend who has a kid if I'm stable. At the time when I was hanging with her, I wasn't. And also, she played mind games and lived in Chicago. I don't feel like dating that long of a distance when they live that close to me, though, either, because then I would have to drive out there or whatever. Uh, I, if I, If that's the case, I'm fine if I had my own car, but I wouldn't make trips out there. But the fact that I prefer girls in my own location, she was too far from me. Because if I planned on... Chicago's a lot more dangerous. Huh? Especially nowadays, Chicago's a lot more dangerous. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like with Tiffany, if me and her meet, I'm most likely going to probably, if we do connect, and I'm saying if, I'll most likely move out there. I don't know. But either way, I'm not going to... Like, yeah, with her, no. It wasn't even worth it. It wasn't worth it. One minute she'd be like, oh, I'm at your house. When she's not. Fucking with me. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You're you're gonna stress me out? I, I don't. I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I couldn't feel anything for it. With the, her personality is going great. I think yeah, she has abandonment issues also. I mean, I kind of do in some regard, I guess. Not really. I just like it all the time. Oh, okay, man, I need to go. I need to go. Uh, ah! I don't want to go out to my car. What's wrong? Uh, I'm out of cigarettes. I need to go get me I really don't want to.
next time on Dragon Ball Z. Hyped about playing it all the way through. I want to enjoy it. Well, um, Prototype 1 is the hardest game in the series, so. Neat. I still want to. I still want to enjoy the game free of your hype. I know, and I get it. I understand. I'm the same way as you are. But it also turns yeah, me on. You're, you're, you're gonna blow through too. It's so fucking easy. Oh, Even on its insane difficulty, it's fucking easy. Uh -oh, I don't Mike, know why that matters. I don't know why difficulty what matters. Do you, uh, do you guys ever remember playing a game on the PS3 called Infamous? I have, yes. I've owned it. Yes. I wish you would bring that series back. back. Hey. I have Infamous Second Son from a PlayStation 4. These are fun to play. Not the first one. If you've played Infamous, you've played Prototype. Or mm. basically the same fucking game. Just one's more bloody than the other. I couldn't get into Infamous 1. First Son was good. Uh, where the fuck did I put my vapes? Uh, infamous, First Light, Second Son. I play first light. Concrete power is fucking useless. Mm. My favorite power is to use for uh, um, Delson, where his neon and only digital power. Mm. Yeah. Smoke was okay, but. Need your items anymore. So, is there an old world for this game, or is it just going straight to battles? Uh, no, there's towns. There's no overworld. There's towns. You walk through. Each map has its each the each area has its own map, but you can walk you walk everywhere first, and then you get the airship at the end game, and then you can fly everywhere. But it's just. It's mostly like, oh, you go through an area, there's a cutscene, there's a bunch of stuff happens, you know, a bunch of cutscenes in between, there's the boss, and then you go to the next area, like all your plot, then there's the next area. They transition, unlike, say, 16, where you warp points everywhere, but there's no overworld. So is, that, so is that, that why you keep coming back to this screen every time you beat a boss? In this? Oh, because no, I'm in the monster arena. This is a. This is where you can face every enemy in the game that you've caught. So all these are basic monsters that I've caught and basically turned into sp special strong variants of them. So yes, this game, this this monster arena has all the old monsters, but this is also a lot of where your super bosses are. All of these arena conquests, species conquests, original. They're all unique, special, strong variants of certain monsters and combinations of others and unique new ones. Like, this very last one here is all your super bosses. In this. Because there's then super bosses outside of this. So when you beat Sin, does he come here too? 
No. Sin is not a capturable, capturable monster, but I do have the monsters in him. But no, Sin is a boss. You don't capture bosses. And no, he's not. There is no skin. There is no reskin for him either. So once you beat him, you beat him, you can't re fight him. You can. As is most bosses. Yes, it's just there only. And you witness the same ending every time. Mm. There is no fighting sin. Just normal, I guess. And plus, he's multiple fights. Like, because he's a final boss and all. I've already had to fight to get inside of him. And I'm at the end of that. Then I'm going to have to fight a bunch of... I'm going to have to fight him... Him a few times, and then I'm gonna have to face you, Yevon, which is the real final boss that actually summons the Aeon that makes Sin. That makes Sin immortal. And once I defeat him, that kills Sin and Yuna, and then that continues to tend to. Where Titus disappears, and Yuna is looking on the lookout where he's trying to figure out how to bring him back. She does. No, there's no overworld. That stopped with nine. Oh. Never mind. That's a bit. Twelve also is a bit bigger. Twelve is a lot bigger. There's an overworld in twelve. Kinda? Uh. Kinda? You do explore, like, in open areas outside of towns, but the fighting combat is not anything like this. It's it's active time, but a mm, bit different than say Final Fantasy VII's or eights or nines. It's or tens. I mean, or uh, eleven or twelve, ten twos. I can talk. It has it has like these weird lines, and you like coordinate your attacks, and it has an ATB meter and stuff like that. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's got a weird active time combat, but that's also kind of different. And it, I didn't like it when I first played it. I also don't like a, a 12's aesthetic, but that game is a bit bigger than, a lot bigger than 10. Town-wise, character-wise, story-wise, even outside exploration-wise. But it's still probably anywhere, not anywhere near the level of the old nine games. Uh. Those games, you can literally not know what to do for 20 hours, and that's where all your time is. With these games, dude, Final Fantasy X, dude, it's... Less than probably 30, 40 hours. It's one of the shorter Final Fantasy games. Now, the older ones are shorter than that, but they take about the same amount of time in just you looking where to go. That's the problem. That's the difference. That my first playthrough of some of the older Final Fantasy games, man. Oy, hey. I did not know where I was going. Especially the first couple. And I can literally talk to an NPC and forget what he says seconds later. That because I, I read it, but I don't really read it. But I'm basically farming crap for armor. Still. I don't uh, end levels, but I'm not really trying to level. Characters are almost done though. I got a bunch of blank notes to do. Oh, the real farming, yeah. <laughs> Has yet to begin. For anyone wondering, and Ez was like, oh my god, he's almost done. Uh, no one. I have. Mm, I have super boss monsters to farm for node blank fights. I have to fill these with items. Whoops. So, like, I'll have. I have one on me, so I'll take. A magic defense sphere, put that down, and then uh, I'll have a blank magic defense sphere that I can activate for four points. It's the maximum for the basic stats from attack, speed, and all that, up to four. Health goes up to 300, and MP goes to 40. I have to take out all of these stats, like this strength, that's one point that is under four or under the maximum, replace it with the maximum, place all the ones in the blank nodes. Fill and maximize the best of my ability and character's potential. Not only that, I have to max out the spirit grid. Most of my character, some of my characters are almost done. Some. By that, I mean three. Yeah. 
luckily I can move mostly across this board, no fucking problem. Just gotta figure out what I'm missing besides that. Yeah, yeah, I'm missing this. Yeah, that's a long way down. And then a long way back up. Because I don't like when these lines don't have their Kool-Aid running through it. Sorry, like, there are different colors for each character. As tight as this blue, and it just looks like... It looks like liquid flowing through it, like blood throwing, flowing through your veins. So the, I treat the, the sphere grid as like a giant body. And all this is like you connecting tissue to make yourself stronger. So that's the flow of everything. I don't know. It's kind of like that to me. But it, ble it, it bothers me when there's gray space and then like for one node spot and then there's like one gray line. I'm just like, that bothers me. Well, Titus is working on his technical last oh, uh, sphere collection spot. He just needs to blank the nodes after that. And the luck nodes. So much boss farming that's gonna be happening here soon. Because I gotta farm super bosses to farm these stupid nodes, and they are going to be a long fight. Like the Chocobo Eater, or Shinryu, or whoever else I need to farm first. Yeah, that's rough. I think I got enough key spear doors. I did very well with the key spear doors. I didn't even lock on. I didn't even fucking farm those key doors. Locks. I just got them all. I managed to barely unlock every single one of them. That was so cold. But I was so cold. Gonna make me cold. Me. I have three. Uh, all but one. Okay, I gotta farm one key through the lock. Yeah, I got every single lock done open but one. And I didn't even I didn't even farm those. I just got them. That is amazing. Titus is almost done! Yay! Oh, I missed some space. You bastards. <sighs> That's gonna bother the hell out of me. Alright, where were you? All those movements, though, and only... I'm at 38. Yeah, they didn't take all that much. That's one plus of the sphere grid once you move through most of it. You get less turns. Alright, that's clear now. That's all blue. I can go back the fuck up. I missed a node? How did I do that? I missed some magic. Oh, magic defense. How did I do that? Yeah, that only took 20. That's not bad at all. Give me that mana. 
Come here. You can now resume. All right. Riku. Let's, uh... is happening in the background. It sounded like some weird power grinding something. So. Excuse my asshole.
I'm hopping on a VC because I'm going to bed at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Night, night, Rooster. Night. Good. I guess. Uh, same as always. I don't really know what to say. Nothing's really the same. I mean, I'm almost finally done with this initial bullshit. Then I got to farm all the super bosses for the s nodes. Blank spheres. Spots. I have to farm the node that goes into them. And then one of them I have to farm two things. Luck, I have to farm both the sphere and the stupid spot. So, I mean, I got a lot of shit still. I just initially finished up the freaking opening act. All I did for these last ten streams or so is the opening act for the end game. I'm not kidding. I mean, yes, I managed to do a bit more with fighting four of the Aeons. But this is literally just the opening of the end. The, the real Battle Magic end started with this moment. Hmm? You like cut off after you said shit. Oh, I thought you said something else. I didn't even hear the O part, I just heard SHIT! It just sounded like you cut off. Oh, I didn't even know Mercer was getting off. I heard him say something about it being late. Is it? It's far and he has to put it to bed. Does he though? I don't know if he has to go to bed. Because... I really don't think people care if you love it. He needs to go to bed. I need to go to bed, but I don't want right now. I don't, know, I don't know when I will be. I just don't want to. I am well tired. I really should go lay down.
up some Facebook about ginger drinking uh, ginger ale. Yeah. And it's like cannibalism. And the can says me, me from real ginger. <laughs> Blue Shadow! Holy shit, bro! You're now at 740 hours and 10 minutes. <laughs> and good. And a good four to five hundred of that isn't exact. Are you may, someone may... that's gonna overtake Bloodborne? <laughs> Won't be surprised. I'm already at a, a, 118 legitimate hours in this file. How you doing, Blue? Oh, I think for sure, though, I'm surprised about my top three, especially like, I got the trap. So I'm looking at my top three and it's fucking like Apex Legends, I think the best war version. 4,000 hours. World last week, 1,000 hours. And then Monster Hunter World's with 100. Yeah, all my games, both my Final Fantasy files sitting over at least at 400 legitimate hours and 300 extra. Final Fantasy 7, or one, uh, all the others, like, I spent way too much time on 7, 8, and 9. I spent way too much time on Monster Hunter myself, both PC and console. Like, I didn't get anywhere near as far in the PC version, but I'm already over half done with the game at, the, at least. So that's another several hundred hours right there. Yeah, I got a, I got like grass. I don't even know what grass is. I haven't. Yeah. Thank you for the shout out. I appreciate. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for hanging. I appreciate. It's been a very, very rocky start to my stream because of stress from work and just the day and just me having just my introverted nature was coming out. We're up just exhausted. But it's just, well, it, it's just been crew sailing. I mean, definitely can tell it's a lot better and a lot more, like, people, some people were coming in here and there. It's definitely improved. The day didn't start too well. Godwalker. 
You caught up quick. Good. Now I can make use of your overgrowth. I can make use of that overdrive. One of the main reason why you're part of my team. Now I'm starting to feel a little overpowered, but even then I'm not anywhere near. I'm scratching the surface. What did you say? Wait, did you save after all that? You know what, you're right. No. <laughs> I didn't take the whole thing. I'll save again. I usually do that. I'll, I'll save. Ah. Uh, and if I didn't save there, trust me, there's a lot longer hours that I haven't saved, because I have not saved in a few hours. And by few, I mean probably like four or five days. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could have just saved. No. No, wait. Yeah, I just saved. 4.17 a.m. Yes, I did. I'll save again. Um, that's how bad I am at saving. <laughs> I looked away. That's my fault. I think I was planning to save whether or not I remembered if I did there. I've done that a lot. Lost my save. Or lost file. Progress. Or saved over an older file. Or saved over my main with an older file. I've done Uh oh, they're doing all that stuff. Hours of. Ten hours almost. Uh, yeah, ten hours almost. We're coming upon it. 